Hey guys, TC made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a quick retarget video for Advanced Locomotion System 4 inside of a UE5 project using some new retarget methodologies that we talked about in a previous video that were uh, gathered from videos that we saw from Angel 5 and also from uh, Jobutsu. You can watch my previous video to, to get the links for what they had, had been working on, but we wanted to try something similar to this. So you can see in the uh, marketplace that ALS version 4 has been updated to uh, 5.0. So you just create a project for that. And then in my library, I also went in and I looked for a polygon pack to put in. So I'm using polygon city pack right here. And I just added that to the project. When you go to add this to a project, you, of course, have to hit show all projects, pick whatever it is you want and then select an older version to actually get that to migrate in. For those of you who are new, uh, that's the way to get that in there. Once you have these two things into your project and you hit play, you'll see you have your old ALS uh, mannequin, and you know he does everything he used to do, except he's now in a 5.0 project. What we want to do to make this work, we need to get a couple of IK rigs set up for these two characters so that we can also create an IK retargeter and then pass on animation blueprint data from one to the other. The quickest way to do this from what we found so far is to go into the content browser section here. If you don't have that you can pop your content drawer up and hit dock and that's how I have mine here. If you go to add you can go add feature content pack and we're just going to pick third person and say add to project. Now what that'll do so it'll bring in these third person resources and in the characters folder that just got created you have mannequin rigs that are in here and one of them's called IK mannequin IK rig so what we want to do is we want to take a rig and we want to create that or copy it over into the advanced locomotion system set so I'm going to go to character asset folder here and I'm going to come from this rig folder I'm going to take the IK mannequin and drag it over to character assets and just say copy here then I'll go to character assets where that IK mannequin is, and I'm going to rename this to IK rig underscore ALS. So we know that that's going to be for this character for Advanced Locomotion System. And if we open it, we see that it's, you know, of course, pointed to the mannequin that comes with UE5. What we want to do is to right click on this and go to Asset Actions, Bulk Edit via Property Matrix under the imported skeleton drop down it's under display here we can just pick a skeleton and we're going to pick anim man for this go to file save all and close that now if you were to open that back up you'll see it's your animation thing for the anim man and in here real quick one of the things you want to fix is that his spine instead of going from spine one to five it actually goes spine one to three everything else in here i'm pretty sure should be okay but if not we'll come back and make some changes so we do that. Now we also want to go uh, collapse this folder up. We also want to go back to our rigs folder for IK Mannequin. And this time we're going to expand out to the meshes for characters on our Polygon Sinti. We're going to take that IK Mannequin down to our characters folder in the Sinti meshes. And again, we're going to say copy here. Go back to our characters section. We're going to rename this to IK Rig underscore Sinti. And if you open this up, of course, you'll see it points to the UE5 mannequin. And what we want to do is right-click on this and say Asset Actions, Bulk Edit via Property Matrix, and change our imported skeleton here down to the SK Character Businessman Shirt file, Save All, and close that. So now we have that IK for Cynthia. And again, with this, his Spine 1 to spine three should be the proper for this and I talk about this in the other um, video we'll fix the, the hands and everything later but basically when you go down here a Sinti character doesn't have a pinky ring or th or uh, middle they use one thing called finger zero one so to fix these you'd have to go through and pick each finger and, and map those out and we'll do that in a minute what we want to do now is we want to go and create an IK retargeter so I'm going to create the IK retargeter in the Advanced Locomotion Character Asset folder over here by the IK rig. And we're going to say Animation. I just right-click there. Animation, IK retargeter. And the thing that we want to copy our animations from is the IK rig for the Advanced Locomotion System. And so I'm going to call this IK retargeter 
underscore, and I'm going to put it for my Cinti character, IK Retargeter Cinti, because I'm going to use the source for ALS, and the target is going to be this IK Rig Cinti that we put on here. Now, if I go to a simple animation like Walk Forward, you can see that these two animations are already pretty well close. Now we want to go up to Edit Pose, and what we did in the previous one is we just click on these little balls up in the shoulder. We're going to rotate this down 50. You can barely see it, but if you look over the left arm of that character in that little gray box, you can see where it says 50.00, so we're going to put that to 50. And then we're also going to click on his elbow and move this elbow up about 30 or 40. I'm going to pick 40 for now. We'll do the same thing with his other shoulder. We'll bring that down 50. We'll click on his elbow and we'll bring that up 40. And if we save that and uncheck the edit pose, we'll see that he's now crouched down and walking in a similar fashion as we have for our other character. Again, with these, you can also take the overlay right here, target actor offset, and you can set this to zero and it'll put them right on top of each other and then you can get the bone mapping or the um, bends in the arms even better. So in this one here, we can actually see that his arms could be straightened out a little bit, so 40 might be a little bit too far. We might want to do those at 30. And we can do that just by going edit pose. And actually, while we have this right here, so now you can click this. We'll pull this back up 10 just to get his arms up a little bit closer to how that other profile is there. And if we look at this, the bend in the arms, again, we can go to the elbow. And we can take his elbow and we can go back 10 on the elbow. Do the same thing on this side, back 10. Save that, come out of edit pose, and he looks a little bit better now. And we can just increase our offset. It's originally, if you just double click it, just puts 150 in here. Um, I have a minus in there. It's 150. I'm putting him back where he was. So they should look pretty close now. And again, you can tweak this to your own your own liking, but the animations look like they're working pretty good. Now what we want to do is, um, now that we have both of our rigs and our retargeter created, we want to go to our Cinti Polygon folder for the characters. And we're going to go in here and right click and say Animation, Animation Blueprint. And we want to create that blueprint based on the SK Character City Rig. Now, the SK Character City Rig is not a rig like the one we've created. It's actually what they called the skeleton that you can see here, SK Character City Rig. So we just hit Create. And I'm going to call this ABP underscore... Uh, well, ABP underscore Cinti for our animation blueprint. And in this animation blueprint, when we open this up, all we want to do in here is we want to right click and say retarget. And there's a thing called retarget pose from mesh. We're going to pay, take this and drag it onto the result window. And in the retarget pose from mesh IK retargeter asset, we're going to go over and pick this as the IK retargeter for Cinti that we just created. We're going to compile. We'll get a couple of warnings in here about things that don't exist. That's okay. What they are is all the uh, metacarpal and um, twist bones and all that kind of stuff that just aren't present in that skeleton. It's not a not an issue. If you want to clean it up, I can show you that in another video. Just leave a comment. But it should be pretty easy to figure out. Once you have this set, now what we can do is we're going to go over to our... Um, we can go over here to our details for this. And if you go to Window... There should be a world settings icon in here, and you go over to world settings, open up your selected game mode, default pawn class, and I'll expand that out a little bit. That should take you in to find your animation blueprint. So we can open that up, and if we go into here, you have a, let me do a file save all real quick because I haven't saved it in a little bit. Let's do this, and we'll go to our mesh, look at our viewport. And there's also a body mesh in here, which in the other versions you could put a, another mesh in here. What I found with this is because there's a kind of a slight disconnect in here between these two things with the new version. It's actually easier if you go up to the, the, the source mesh of this right here and just click on it and hit add and type in skeletal mesh and you'll add a new skeletal mesh. And I'm just going to call this character. And in our character under that child of the old mesh, 
we're going to go into this character and tell it that we want the skeletal mesh for our businessman suit and we want to use that anim class for ABP Cinti and you should see that that locks those guys into um, moving together here now what I want to do is I want to take my mesh my main mesh and I'm going to type in the word viz and we want to take visible and uncheck that and we want to make sure that visibility based anim tick options is set to always tick pose and refresh bones compile and save and if that all worked out when we hit play what we should have is a Cinti character on top of our ALS anim man's skeleton and it should work the same way that the other one did all the poses the time dilation there's his rag dial and he should be able to climb now what you'll notice in some of these see how his hands dip down a little bit what that means is that you just need to go back to the retargeter for this and adjust the locations of some of those things so if I hit stop here we go back into where the retargeter is we know that it's in our character asset thing IK retargeter for Cinti what I'm talking about here is when you overlay these two characters that his hands now would have to come up a little bit higher or his elbow might have to twist out a little bit further to make those those poses even better because the location at which those bones are is just a little bit different so there's a slight offset there so this thing for example you may have to take his shoulder and take his shoulder back a little bit and then bring his elbow in some more you know things like that just so that his hand actually gets pretty closer to where this wrist bone is if that doesn't work for you you can't get it exactly the way you want to the other thing that would make sense to me is if you were to go and build a rig for this manually and adjust this, you should be able to get it pretty close because you're actually going to have the ability at that point inside of your rig definition. Like when you go in here for this rig, see how these goals for the hands are a little bit off? It's because they're based on the original skeleton for UE5 and not for the one that's here. So these assets may need to be lined up a little bit better and the way you would do that normally is by creating your own chains against this asset if you decide to do that the easiest way would be to go and take this whole block in here which says IK retargeting you're going to want to create a screenshot of this to understand what the definitions of each of these things are and there's a video that tells you how to create goals and stuff I'll do one from the ground up at some point to show you how this works but right now I'm trying to give you the quickest way to get everything uh, up and running hopefully you can tweak it to get it the way you like it okay my name's TC made with TC gaming thanks for watching if you have any questions make sure you hit me up on the uh, on the video there and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching and have a great night